Hello and welcome to another RC unboxing video. Today we've got the brand new Flight Test DHC2 Beaver. Before we go ahead and open this thing up, let's take a look at the outside of the box. The first thing you'll notice is that it's a little bit crumpled up, uh, but don't worry, yours won't look like this. I, I bought this one discounted from Flight Test because it was uh, damaged in shipping from the factory, but all of the parts and the aircraft itself are not damaged. 640mm wingspan. It's got a brushless motor, which is not super common with real small foamies. Uh, it's a four-channel aircraft with two gram servos. It's got a six by four prop. Some other specs for this aircraft are that it is under 250 grams, so you do not need to register it with the FAA. In fact, the flying weight is 152 grams, so you're well under that. It has magnetic hatches. It uses a simple foam construction, and it's already built for you. It's a, a plug and fly, essentially. They say receiver ready. Like I mentioned before, it is a four-channel aircraft, and it does have the option for flaps. You can install two more servos to, to activate flaps. Flight Test recommends that you use a 550 to 620 milliamp hour battery, uh, and that should give you around 8 to 12 minutes of flight time. Now, without further ado, let's open this thing up. First thing is, on top, we've got this manual, which I'm going to remove. So once you have everything untaped and the instructions out of the way, there are a few little baggies that you get in this little pocket right here. One has the propeller and the aluminum spinner. Another baggie has the landing gears. This one has a few uh, servo adapters, it looks like, I would assume for adding flaps. And this one has hardware for the floats. So now we're able to remove the fuselage. And that leaves us with the floats. So here's the wing. It's got a little clip at the front and a screw to hold it in the back. And here you can see the aileron servos and the spots for flap servos and the fuselage which from the box the ESC was kind of loose it's got this uh, velcro and it just lost some stickiness I guess but all of the servos in here have this little um, it's like a, a micro JST plug so that's what those servo adapters are for that are included it comes with a JR style power connector, which is good because many batteries that are about the right size come with that sort of connector. It's got a magnetic front cowl, which if you remove, remove that, you can see the cute little brushless motor here. It's also got a magnetic hatch right here, so you can uh, have a little bit more access for changing the battery. It looks pretty good. It's got these uh, cool panel lines and uh, it really does look the part. Let's go ahead and assemble the landing gear. So those just press in. These are wire landing gears. And this little tab presses into this little piece of plastic. And the tail wheel is the same, except it's it's got to go all the way through this the, the fuselage to the rudder. Into a little slot there. Just like that. Now the wing, once you plug your, put your receiver in there and you plug all of your servos in, This front little clip holds on there, 
and then a screw would hold the back down. So these are the wing stays and they're made of carbon fiber and they've got these little plastic angle pieces on each side. They look like they're symmetrical but they're not. One side has a shallower angle than the other side. And you gotta remember the shallower angle goes out towards the wing tip. The um, steeper angle goes towards the fuselage. So using a number one Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to install the wing struts using the four small pointed screws that come with the kit. And now I'm also going to attach the wing at the rear with this long screw. Now I'm just going to use one of the float wires to sort of fish the servo leads through the front here. In case you didn't already hook up your receiver, you can still do so. So there's that. This is for the aileron. This one that doesn't have the adapter is the ESC. And then you got your rudder and your elevator. I'm not going to install a receiver right this second, so I'm just going to tuck those back in for now. And pop the hatch back on. Now let's assemble the floats. So you've got the float wires. They're identical. And they just press into the little plastic pieces on the floats, just like the, uh, the landing gears into the fuselage. Just like that. Now I'm going to remove the landing gears just by pulling them out of the slots. Be careful you don't crush the foam. I'm going to push the float wires into the slots into the bottom of the fuselage. Now, in order to install the water rudder, we're going to do pretty much the same thing as the tail wheel. We're going to push it through all the way through the fuselage. And then it presses into the rudder. Here's the propeller. And just like any other outrunner electric motor, it goes onto the shaft with the numbers facing forward. And the aluminum spinner just threads on to the shaft. It also comes with some Velcro for your battery. Comes with some control surface horns for the flaps, and you would install that into the foam with some foam safe CA. Comes with some linkage stoppers for the flaps. And also some control wires. And of course, it also comes with the servo adapter if you decide to install flap servos. Thanks for watching my unboxing video of the brand new Flight Test DHC2 Beaver. Feel free to leave a comment below what you think of it or Flight Test's other receiver ready aircraft. Remember to like and subscribe, that's the best way to stay up to date with my videos, and stay tuned for the test flight video.